Hey everybody, it's Handy Andy from HandyAndyMedia.com. I'm your DIY tech guy. And speaking of DIY, we're going to show you how you can fix the Husqvarna auto mower, the flashing blue light that you see on the base station. That blue light means no loop signal. And boy, does it piss me off. And I learned how to fix it. And I want to show you right now how you can fix it as well. If you have the Husqvarna auto mower and it's not working because you have a no loop signal, I'm going to show you how to fix it. Because right over there is the dreaded flashing blue. And we got to make that look green somehow today. So I'm going to show you how to fix it because I have to fix it. And this is the second time I've done this. So I'm going to make a video to try to help people so you can save money without having to hire a technician. Okay, it's super hard to get in here. I'm gonna try to show you what I just did. So I'm using this wire locator. This is the one end that you have to put the wire on. And so I took the one end that was in the back and I placed it onto this wire. So it's hard to see, it's dark, but trust me, that one end of the wire that on the automore of the boundary line is now connected to this. And it's sending a power signal when I turn this on. So now there is a nine volt battery in here and it's sending power through that wire. What I'm gonna do now is use this other line right here. It's also battery powered, I gotta put that back on. But basically what this does is it locates that signal and it does it through this like little end right here so this goes above ground like this and where the wire is we should hear a beeping sound and basically what you have to do is you just keep following this until the sound becomes different and that should tell you where the break is in the wire now I'm pretty sure I already know where the break is I fixed the wire and it still didn't work so I have no idea what's going on that's why I have to use this and basically do some investigations. So I'm basically gonna walk around the perimeter of the property starting from over here where it's a nice strong signal and keep going until we figure out what's going on and find that break underground. So I'm gonna get started. This is a frustrating task. So you gotta be in a good mental space of troubleshooting when you start this, cause it's not easy. All right, I wanna show you how this end works. So, like I said, it's plugged in. There is power going through that wire and it comes out of here and it goes all the way around. Now watch this. See, we can see a bit of the wire right over here. So I'll show you. If you look, where is it? Somewhere here. There it is, right there. See, that's the wire. Now watch what happens. I have this wand just sitting right over here. I'm gonna move it over towards that wire. Oh, sorry, the volume's down. So let me try it again. See this? We're going into the middle of the yard. You don't hear anything. <laughs> now, you can hear just a faint beep. Now watch this. As I get closer, it's getting louder. And when you get right to the wire, Basically, that's what we have to do, is go like this. And I'm gonna turn this down. Basically, you just gotta keep doing that and listen. And that's basically how you can detect where the break is in the wire. You gotta listen really carefully to that sound. And that's what I'm gonna do. And I'll let you know where I find the break. Okay, so here's where I think the break is. Originally, the break was right over here because it was coming out over here, there's only a short piece of wire. And I had to use one of these connectors and a crow kind of like bit it. So I thought just fixing that would work. But I've been running this wire tester and I can get a signal coming out over here. So what I'm gonna do is quickly attach this wire to this wire here on the other side. Before I run it through here, you can see I used the grinder to make a nice slot. But I just need to verify that everything is 
that this is gonna work before I do all that other stuff. So I'm gonna do this right now with um, temporary wire that I have right over here. So hopefully that'll work. Okay, I've been going around and around in circles with this wire tester and guess what? I found the break. I was coming from the base station over here, had a nice loud signal. It was loud and loud and loud, loud. And then when I got around to this side, it stopped. So I pinpointed it to be right over here and check it out. There was a break. I have attached new wire, but there was, it was just really, really worn out. I'm not sure what happened, but I didn't expect it to happen right here, so close to the station. However, that's where it was. It wasn't over where the sidewalk, where I had the other issue. So that's, that was super surprising for me. However, I attached this wire just to double check. This is not the final way I'm going to put it together, but I checked it, came over here, and you can see the green light. That is the best light in the world. So now that I know that everything is fixed, I'm gonna go ahead and use the standard connector pieces, which are right up here. And I'm gonna put those on, fix everything, bury it so it never happens again. And this uh, underground wire tester, I'm definitely keeping it because I have a feeling it's gonna come in handy in the future, but so happy I didn't have to call the technician another successful DIY. Save probably like 250. So I'm gonna go ahead and start this right now. Now here's the funny thing. At the end of that, after I fixed everything, the next day I had it running and it broke again. The, the automower just stopped in the middle of the yard and I was like, what could it be this time? And again, I pulled out that tool, they went around, tried to find the break. Man, I was doing indie laps over and over again. And guess what? I found another spot completely unrelated to all the other areas that had broken down. So that wire, which has been in the ground for about three, four years, it's just starting to like brittle and break. As soon as I found this new area, I just picked the wire up and it just like disintegrated. So this tool that I used in this is highly important. I'm going to actually put the link in the video description below so that if you need it, you can buy it on Amazon as well. Once again, my name is Andy Barrar, Handy Andy, the internet's DIY guy, and boy, did we have some fun trying to fix that. The Husqvarna Auto Mower Robotic Lawn Mower. The best thing ever, but when it breaks, oh man, it's the worst tech problem ever. Well, if you have any questions, if you've had experience or you, you have problems with your Husqvarna Auto Mower, leave them below. Guys, I've had a lot of problems with this, and I fixed all of them, so... I want to be able to help you too. Once again, my name is Andy Barrar. Handy Andy. Find more information about me at handyandymedia.com.